The Suicide Squad, better known as Suicide Squad 2, has officially been announced. Fans who love the original movie have been losing their minds to hear more about the sequel. But did you know that many of the characters in the new film look vastly different from the way they did in the comics all those years ago? Let's take a look at some of the most iconic Suicide Squad characters and how they differ from the comics. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Harley Quinn It's difficult to know for sure what Harley Quinn is supposed to look like. Her character has changed so much over the years that she has become one of the most versatile characters in the DC Comics lineup. When most people think about the comic book version of Harley Quinn, they typically think about the Harley Quinn that has been alongside the Joker for the last few decades, often wearing a jester suit. Considering the Joker is, well, the Joker, it makes sense that his love interest would be dressed up in a jester suit. It suits his image very well. Her original suit was black and red with little balls hanging off the top of her head. However, more recently, Harley Quinn has taken on a much more tough girl appearance. She traded her jester suit for a pair of short shorts, if you could even call them shorts at this point. She also wears a torn up red and white long sleeve shirt, has blue and pink hair, and a pair of the most interesting boots I've ever seen. In short, her character in the movie doesn't even bear a passing resemblance to the Harley Quinn from the comic book series. Peacemaker Now we move on to Peacemaker. Peacemaker is a much more minor character in the DC Comics universe. If you asked most people on the street who Peacemaker is, they probably wouldn't even be able to tell you. However, he plays a pretty big role in Suicide Squad and has been with the series for many years now. In the movie, he is played by the one and only John Cena, and in the comics, he is depicted as a character that, admittedly, looks shockingly similar to Cena. If we look back to the comics that were released a few decades ago, we see that Peacemaker is usually wearing a red shirt with blue edging. His logo is a prominent yellow color pasted right in the middle of his chest plate. He also has a thick shoulder pads and is usually seen carrying around multiple weapons, usually guns and grenades. In a very welcomed change from other characters in the franchise, John Cena's version of Peacemaker looks like a mirror image of the comic character. He wears an identical outfit and even carries around the same weapons. The only major difference is that John Cena's shoulder pads are not nearly as shiny or large as his comic book counterpart. Black Guard Now we get to take a look at one of the biggest character differences thus far. Black Guard is well known in the DC Comics universe. He has a very unique appearance to him and is one of the largest, most muscular characters in the series. In the comics, he is seen in a large armored suit that is covered in greenish-blue breastplates that are covered in red orbs. But it seems like the creators of the film wanted to completely recreate his character from scratch. In fact, the movie version doesn't resemble the comic series in the slightest bit. His suit is completely black and he has bronze-colored shoulder pads and all sorts of other bronze accents throughout his suit, giving him the appearance of a soldier more than anything else. Bloodsport This is one of the very few times when the creators have refreshed a character without completely changing who he used to be. When we look at Bloodsport in the original comic series, we see that he is depicted as an incredibly muscular African-American man that carries around a gun and a full round of ammunition wherever he goes. He also wears a red face mask to hide his appearance and wears kayak pants with a green belt. In the movie, his suit is much more modern giving him a solid breastplate that looks like it could stop virtually anything you throw at him. He still carries around his signature gun, but he doesn't carry around as much ammunition as he used to. Overall, his character still looks pretty similar to the character from the comics, but he looks a lot more modern and updated. This was definitely a welcomed change. Polka Dot Man of all the characters the movie creators opted to change, they left the Polka Dot Man almost entirely in his original form. They went to such great lengths to update characters like Harley Quinn and Blackguard, yet the Polka Dot Man 
looks just as ridiculous now as he did all those years ago. In the comics, the polka dot man is seen wearing a white suit that is covered in various polka dots. He also has a red face mask, red shoes, and a rest belt. In the movie, he looks pretty much exactly the same. The only difference is that his face mask in the movie has been updated a little bit and more closely resembles a pilot's mask from the mid-1900s. Other than that, he is the spitting image of his comic book counterpart. Good on the creators for staying true to his original form, but geez, if we are going to do such great links to update characters like Bloodsport, why did the Polka Dot Man not get a refresh as well? What a goofy looking character. Weasel well, there isn't too much to say about Weasel. The casting department was asked to create a character that looked like a weasel, and they did. That's about it. Weasel has also been in the comics for many years, but his character in the movie has not changed one bit. He is almost entirely made up of CGI, and we expect him to look just like he did in the comics. In the original series, we see that Weasel looks like a large human-sized weasel that wears a yellow suit. We don't know if he will be wearing his famous yellow suit in the movie, but from what we've seen so far, this guy looks like a giant freak of nature that was dreamt up in a lab many years ago. We will have to wait and see how realistic he looks in the final product, but I'm hopeful the casting department is going to do a great job with this guy. Rat Catcher So this character is going to be purely based on speculation because we haven't seen anything at all from Rat Catcher just yet. In the comics, Ratcatcher is a terrifying person who wears either a black bodysuit or zip-up amateur surgeon's outfit. He usually wears an oxygen mask of some sort and a strange globe on his head with a rat inside of it. We haven't seen any clips from the movie just yet, but considering Daniela McKeer has been cast as Ratcatcher, it is safe to assume that there will be some major changes to this character, gender being the most obvious. Since we know most of the Suicide Squad members are men anyway, this is likely to be a very welcome change, but we will have to wait and see how true to the original character the casting department is willing to go. Captain Boomerang This is another character we don't know too much about just yet, but Captain Boomerang seems to be one of the most promising characters in the series. After all, what is there to say about him? His character in the movie is a replica of his character in the comics. His boomerangs may look a little bit different than they used to, but aside from this, Captain Boomerang looks perfect. Remember, I'm watching. I see everything. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.